Hi, good morning everyone. I hope you're having a blessed day today. It is the 27th day of September and I hope that you're all blessed um, by this um, video recording. It was on my heart um, this morning as I had prayed to the Lord to show me something out of the ordinary um, that I could maybe bring um, to my audience on YouTube about 5784. I've heard a lot about 5784. If you know anything about um, um, the Hebrew Aleph Bet, if you know anything at all about it, the four represents the door or the Dalit. And I have come to know that the Dalit, and we all should know this, that the Dalit represents Jesus Christ. He is the door. So I've heard others, um, I won't mention their names, but there are many on YouTube that have already give, given their dissertations, their opinions, their research, their findings on 5784. Um, mine is going to be from another. Uh, it's a message. It's a special message on 5784. So um, this is a time for all the Josephs out there, the biblical Josephs, male and female, uh, for open doors. So I'm going to explain what I mean. Okay, so we know that four is the Dalit in the Hebrew alphabet, and it means door. It symbolizes Yeshua as our door. We want to think about Acts 10. This uh, writer, who doesn't leave his name, um, he doesn't leave his name, but I will, you know, anybody who wants a, a connection to the uh, link, I will definitely post the link. It's a really good article. You should all read it. So it's not for everybody. I just want to stress that it's not for everybody. It's for those who are the Josephs, okay? And I'm going to go into detail about this. Acts 10 has been on this author, uh, or this writer of this post since 2010, okay? So that's something to think about. Um, God provided uh, this revelation that aligns with 5784, Acts 10, if we remember Acts 10, it's about Peter and Cornelius. God was and is willing to open up doors for the purpose of spreading his word. This way, uh, I'm sorry, this was all contingent on the faithfulness or obedience of Peter. So you'd have to understand about uh, Acts 10. The Lord uh, spoke to him in a vision, if you remember, and I hope that you get out your Bible and turn to Acts 10. Uh, the Lord spoke to him in a vision, commanding him not to call um, any man unclean, according to Acts 10.28. This was difficult because he was a Jew. Uh, he was a Jewish man following the law of Moses. But Peter had to step out in faith if he wanted to follow God's will. Peter obeyed, and it opened up the door for Gentiles to be accepted into the church. So I hope that you're not going to squint or anything trying to read my writing here. It's it's um and uh, it's legible, but I want you to just try to remember the transcripts at the very end. You can always read them from that. So, uh this showed that God was working in ways never seen before. God had chosen Peter and Cornelius to bring about a significant change in the church one that would see salvation spread far beyond the nation of Israel. It's a powerful example of how our obedience to God can open amazing doors for us when we trust and when we obey him. He will lead us to places we never thought possible. So it has to do with 5783. 5783, the year 5783 that we just passed, has a certain connectivity. In the earlier part of the year, this year of 2023, this author received the word Goshen. Now that's funny that you know this is occurring today because I have been thinking about Goshen and, and that the everyone is in a safe place who is born again, saved, has the baptism of the Holy Spirit, has the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. You praise God, you pray, you read your, your Bible. You know, maybe you're better than me and you fast more often. Um, 
and you do all these things, um, you know, maybe even you sing, I don't know, maybe you do special praises to the Lord, maybe you have special talents, and you have a, a beautiful voice or something, or maybe you write, maybe you're a writer, and you're, and you're, and you're able to, to do all these things, but it's been really, really tough for you, you found that it's been really, really tough, these are the Josephs, um, so you have to have those qualifications to begin with, so it has to be a biblical thing, okay, there's three sub-themes, under Goshen to keep in mind. Breakthrough, Joseph, and Harvest. So open doors for all the Josephs, all the biblical Josephs. They, the Josephs, will receive their breakthrough and come out of their prisons. They will steward the harvest in a Goshen season. They will have a divine strategy on how to use their giftings. Okay, now, this is pertaining to not everybody, but you know who you are out there. Okay, it will be, of course, from the Ruach HaKodesh, which in Hebrew means Holy Spirit. He will empower all the Josephs of this season. Uh, these Josephs have been behind the scenes, working, praying, seemingly overlooked and forgotten. Okay? Uh, they have helped people and have told those they've helped, quote, when all goes well with you, remember me and show me kindness. Mention me to Pharaoh and get me out of this prison. This is from Genesis forty fourteen. So this is tremendous help for this um, presentation that I'm giving on 5784, the year of the open door, okay? So you'd have to go to Genesis 40 and read Genesis 40, 14 to get a further understanding. Then radio silence. All of a sudden, Pharaoh will come and ask for you by name. Many doors were closed for these Josephs. Um, the doors that would have elevated them, but these doors weren't meant for them. If you are a Joseph, and that's a male or a female Joseph, thank the Lord. Remember the biblical Joseph who was tempted by Potiphar's wife. Remember, he closed a door that would have elevated him, but it was a wrong door. Okay, he lost everything and he was demoted. Then for him, things got worse. He was thrown into prison. It seemed like his life had ended. But a God-appointed door opened, one that would lead to preserving the nation of Israel. So may the Lord's name be praised. In the name of Jesus, I say that. One, open doors can seem obscure and meaningless. It can even be overlooked. Two, some open doors aren't glamorous. They aren't even seen. They're hidden. They can only be perceived to those uh, with discernment and that are in the spirit. Three, some doors are not God-appointed. Don't be fleshly, but be vigilant. Uh, number four, some closed doors um, can appear like the end, but it's just the beginning. Five, trust in God's timing. I underline this for a reason. Trust in God's timing for the open door. Six, since in the Hebrew year, this is the decade of 80s, because it's 5784, 5784, or the letter pay, um, 80, letter pay, which is the mouth declaring the word of God is paramount in this season. And last page. So the theme or themes for 5784, the Hebrew year, prophet meaning. There are four themes or four pointers that come from a biblical Joseph's life. Forgiveness. Understand that it's about God and not about you. Three, rely on the gift giver. Four, the spirit of excellence. Remember those four. And then the fifth one is a call to help others. That's preservation. So in Genesis 45, 7, we read, God sent me before you to preserve you for a remnant in the earth and to keep you alive by a great deliverance. So you want to check that out, 45, 7 in Genesis. 
Note, this message is not for everyone. I did mention that in the beginning. It's only for those who have sown and been in obedience. You know who you are out there. So see Matthew 25. Those with oil in their lamps. The ones who are weeping in the night and seeking the Lord for direction. That's who this is about. While others were fast asleep. So guys, pray. Pray for more discernment. Discernment is the key. And scripture here, you want to read 1 Peter 2, 4 through 5, and 1 Peter 2, 9. So I hope this helped you today. Please leave comments or um, scripture if you'd like, or if you have some prayer requests for me. I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you very much. Amen.